What is this, draws? So today we have a different video, and rather than us just running around getting tons of kills and, you know, showing off a tank, which <clears throat> this will become soon, uh, today we are doing a little bit more of a tutorial, and I'm going to show you all how to use the replay feature. All over, you know, TikTok and everything, you see people are always asking, how do you get such sick, you know, angles, or how do you rewind? It's like the main one I see across all of TikTok is, how do you rewind in replay mode? Like, I can't even rewind. How do you get these clips? So. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to work the replay feature and how to rewind. First, I'm gonna show you Shaw's the setting that you guys need to go to to enable replay and to enable the rewind feature, but do not just skip to that and click off this video because there's a little bit more to it than just turning on this feature. But without further ado, you wanna to go to the little three bars up in the top left and go down to options. And once you're in options, go in the little search bar and search up replay. So once you have re looked up replay, down here in replay and spectator mode, you want to go down and enable record a rewindable replay. Also right below it, you want to set the snapshot recording interval in a replay in seconds to 10. It's default 60, but you want to set it down to 10. I think this might be a little bit harder on your computer. Uh, so if you need, you can bump it up, but don't attest to that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little harder since your computer or game is saving more. Uh, but I would personally go with 10. And if all these other features, you can hit yes as well. I, especially the auto save replays, so you don't have to go in manually. I personally do that. But the biggest one here is record or rewind all replay and set the replay in seconds to 10. And the reason I told you not to click off is because I know people are gonna just jump right on up onto the website. So there's a website that you can go to over watch replays and on the um, War Thunder Wiki. And through this, you are not able to rewind and let me show you real quick so if you do not know the war thunder replays is where you really go to report someone if someone's cheating because this is where the um, admins care the most they won't ever really care about the ones that you spam in game if you go into a replay and report someone this is the best way but this is also how most people view their replay so see here i pulled up my last game and i'm just going to go ahead and start replay and when you click the replay button and you go back into the game your game has to already be launched but when you go back into the game it's going to launch you into said replay. So here, let me find ourselves and let's get the time just zooming. We don't care about any of this. I want to get to two minutes real quick just to show y'all. So bam, we're at two minutes. And um, whenever you hit the backwards button, I'm. What is happening? What? What technical difficulties? Technical get difficulties. I did technical difficulties over, but what what the hell was that? That's quite literally never happened in the like hundred plus replays I've watched. That was um interesting. Yeah, so anything guys is still quite buggy, but hopping right back on into it. Let me get back to a good point in the match. Alright, so we've hit the two minute mark of the replay, and this is important uh for later, but as you notice, the skip forward or skip backward is not even highlighted for this replay right now. And if you spam the uh, you know slow down button, you can't go in reverse. All you can do is slow it down to ultra low speed for War Thunder. You can't actually jump forward and or backward. So to avoid this, what you want to do is quit the replay and not do not go through the website. Remember, website is only for reporting cheaters. But when you go into your options again up here, top left, go down to replays. This is where your most recent match will be shown. From here, you can go through and like select random, random matches. And here is the match that we were just watching. So let's hop right back into it and let me show you the difference. And here's the version of the like one that was recorded on the game. So let me show you the difference between the on game and website version. Let me go find myself again. All right, so we're back at the two minute mark as we were with the website version. But now you notice the difference of we have these green lines up here and we have the forward and reverse or backward enabled now. So before the little toggle I was telling you guys between the 60 second and the 10 second, this is what happens when you have it set to the 60 second. Uh, when I hit backwards or rewind, it will take me back a full 60 seconds to the previous green line because this is snapshotted every 60 seconds. So when you have the 10 second version, it'll be every 10 seconds you can rewind. So if you're trying to get like a very, very tight, short time frame clip, you're gonna have it set to 10. If you're going for like more of a general, like see what happens in a minute, you wanna set it to the 60 second one and it will also be slightly easier on your computer. Uh, so, you, but that will go for the forward as well. You will not be able to just skip forward like two seconds or rewind or, you know, 
go forward and or reverse by seconds. You have to go by little jumps. And then the rest of the controls are pretty easy. All right, sorry, Charles, I got called into something. But if you go up to your uh, controls and go over to common and type in HUD, whoops, HUD, you'll be able to have this option called hide HUD. Uh, yours should be automatically put to Alt Z uh, as default, but Alt Z, if you have GeoForce or Geo or whatever it's called, it will pull up a replay feature for GeoForce and it, it just, it won't work. So what you must do is assign it to a new button and a button I never use is page up. So I have assigned it to page up. So when you go back to replay, you can just simply hit that button that you have and bam, you have a clear, clear looking HUD to make epic, epic looking clips. If you hit it again, it brings it right on back. Uh, so through here, you can hit statistics and look how people are doing in the match. And then you are able to switch players with, again, every one of these will have a, a key bond that you'll be able to see when you're in it. So, so I'm able to switch with just my key bond, but then I'm also able to switch by clicking on the arrows. And you can also select players with the players on the sides of your screen. Uh, the rest of these are just like, cameras like different angles like my one of my favorites is the flyby or gun view so if we go back and start it again whoops i've done 16 times you get the idea uh then my other two favorites one is free camera where it's just complete freedom just move about uh it is a little bit shaky uh, but my personal favorite is the hover camera because it is a little bit harder to move around so when you start playing and you have the free spectator rotation and the hover mode on, you kind of stay near and it's not nearly as quick as like jolting around. You know, can you see how it's a little, a little bit smoother? So when I'm doing like commenting or spectating for a tournament, this is why I usually like to go with so it's a little bit easier on the viewers. But it, again, it doesn't really matter if you're just trying to go for the angles, you can go free camera and set up the angle and then hit go or space. Um, so some basic controls is when you are in this mode, let me go back to hover because I prefer it. Whenever you are in these, so W and S will zoom in and out or move forward and backward while A and D will move you left and right. Q and E will be your raise and lower. But again, these will be kind of a little bit different in each camera. So see here, Q and E is like a raise up. Uh, a and D is left and right where S and W will be zoom in and out. So it, it just depends on what exact mode you're in sometimes, but your Q, W, E, A, S, and D will be your camera controls for almost every single camera. Uh, the mouse, you toggle this on, will allow you to look around the mouse. See, it's not toggled right now. My mouse is doing nothing. I toggle it on, I'm able to look with my mouse. But it's kind of annoying when you go up to select options because it'll move your camera. But then another cool feature though is sensor mode. So sensor mode, you are able to see what the game is basically seeing when it's running calculations. You can see all sorts of little things. You're able to turn off the player icons, allies, so on and so forth. You can look through these settings and nerd out as much as you like. And you can collapse it or show it. There's also like the weapon parameters and uh, sensor filters. And again, you can turn everything on and off for allies and enemy team. Uh, then there's also show markers in the replay so you can see people's names or you can choose not to see people's names oh i forgot i died there hold on straws i'm sorry about that but that's good to mention yet that a replay will only really record as long as you're in it so if you die and you want to keep it recording to, so you can watch the rest of the match uh, you must sit in spectator mode and just wait throughout the match so sit on your phone or something if you want to capture it at all uh but essentially that is almost it with the replay feature but you're also able to select these green lines instead of using jump forward and backwards you're able to just go up and select them yourself to instantly jump to those time slots but besides that straws that's really all you need to know for the replay feature in war thunder so again the online version is for going after hackers cheaters so on and so forth uh, or reporting for you know bad comments etc because in that feature you're able to report the exact timestamps and submit it to the admins uh, so where if you like just spam it in game, they don't really get that timestamp, so they don't really pay attention to those. Uh, but if you want like actually good shots for like making TikToks or YouTube videos, you want to go into the replay mode and go into this and set up your rewind and have the set up to quicker intervals, so you're able to get nice, beautiful shots like this. All right. So the last thing is when you going back up to the three dotted lines in the top left, down to replays. This is where you'll see all your replays. 
from here you are able to go back and look at i think games from about previous two weeks roughly it goes from one week to two weeks i think it might be one i don't quote me on that so right now my father's back is september 30th but i do play a ridiculous amount of games uh, so i'm not sure if it's based on like 50 replays or like two weeks i'm not fully sure but the online version does reset i think pretty sure after two weeks because they, they the online version saves every replay from every player ever from every battle for the last two weeks whereas the one on war thunder in your game file will only save up to a certain amount and or certain time and then also delete so both online and on game they'll delete delete themselves eventually so when you're in this view and you click this little folder icon it'll bring you to the folder within your war thunder client and this is what you will see so it matters where you save War Thunder, but basically wherever you saved War Thunder and go to replays, this is where all your replays are saved. They are a .wrpl or a .blk file, either or. And if you ever want to save one, you'll have to go in here, pull it off, and hard save it onto your computer. Then from there, you'll be able to drag it, be able to drag it back into War Thunder replays to view it in your game. But again, War Thunder will delete these eventually. So have a separate folder on your computer where you save them for future reference. But even then, it's kind of weird. I'm not even sure if that will fully work. I'm pretty sure there's problems that even go along with that. So if you guys are looking to get like a really good replay for a YouTube video or TikTok, do it within the first week or two of the game or else it will just be lost basically forever. But with that, Straws, I hope you all learned something or some about the replay feature. And I hope this was helpful. And I look forward to seeing you guys post some amazing YouTube videos and some amazing TikToks. Please tag me in any videos you make. I want to see what you guys are able to create with, you know, learning how to use this. And if you guys ever need some help or ideas on how to edit or what editing so software I use and so on and so forth, please drop a comment down below asking and what specifically you guys would want me to cover, especially for War Thunder, anything of the sorts, I'm here to help, such as controls or graphics or anything of the sorts. But on that note, Straws, I hope this was a helpful tutorial. Uh, remember, I stream 8 to 11 p.m. I mean, Eastern time almost every single day here on YouTube and Twitch. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I hope you all have a blessed one and peace.